All right. Oops. Give me one sec. All right, this is the Roma Zenith. We're using an FR4 half plate that we're using black cherry pie switches that have been spring swapped to 60 gram slow springs, uh, dusky films, 205G. Um, we have Duroc V2 stabilizers with the 205G and BDC. And this is GMK hammerheads with a lot of dittos. <laughs> All right, you guys ready? There you go. All right, here are the mods. I'm gonna plug this. It's like an hour of my life. Each ditto has a different sound. <laughs> Jody, <laughs> why do I feel like you guys always clip my face? <laughs> you guys always clip it. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> all right. So yeah, this is the Zenith FR4 half plate with um black cherry pie switches. These folks. This feels really nice to type on, like this half plate. These switches feel really nice too. You know, normally with me, when I hear creams and anything, I'm just like, ugh, kill the fire, right? But actually these switches feel really good. Yeah, people have already clipped it. They do sound really nice and they also feel 
really nice. <laughs> um, but yeah. What do you guys think? Actually, let's look at the build before I get your opinion. So, Zenith, uh, 65 left hand macro column. Right? So, think this, this is basically Q frenzy <laughs> without the split. <laughs> um, this is a Rama board. He got this nice, like, engraving right here. Like this little three circle. The thing about this build, I didn't like this way it was kind of finagly putting this with a daughter board and the cable. Um, but that's okay. That's just one of those things where if you don't really disassemble it very often, it's not really something you have to worry about. But this is a three piece. So this is the weight right here. Um, then you have like quote the bottom piece and then the top piece uh, is gasket. This is a gasket mounted board. So you have gaskets on both the bottom and top. Uh, so you can put the rubber feet here. If you look at the side, it's actually pretty interesting because you have this this like little lip right here and there's still this curve and then this part right here, right? Oh, ditto. Yeah. But yeah, you can see it has a slip. You can see this is, this seems like a pretty like complex cut right here. Because it's like curved. It seems like a complex cut. This is where you put the bump ons right here. But yes, this is a fingerprint magnet that. Where did she get that Hello Kitty rag? I always have my Hello Kitty rag. Yeah, fingerprint magnet, but it's okay because it's on the back. Um, but overall, this bird felt really nice to type on. You can see it's not really as flexy as you would want it to be, but... That's a nice space bar. What do you guys think about the space bar? Damn. It was worth it. Me struggle blessing on that wire for so long. Oh, it was all worth it. Alright, but yeah, that was the build. What did you guys think? Is everyone like black cherry pies <laughs> are the greatest? No. You guys are all in love. <laughs> you have J wigs, you have cream stems. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, I was saying that this side is like a little, like, a little bit more complex cut than just like the, you know, plain rectangle. Because you have. This curve right here, and then right here as well. Yeah, only the old creams work because they changed the molds. Here's what you do. We just... We just... Scar's board... We hope Scar's board is broken, and then we just snag his creams. Yoink, you don't need these anymore. Yoink. Give me those stems. <laughs> right? 